Hello, curious gang, it's your London friend Vasi and in today's video we're in the beautiful and very lively city of Istanbul. As usual, we don't have a lot of time in the city so that's why I will show you only the top 10 things to do in here. Starting with some breakfast because we're already quite hungry. The first thing that you should do when in Istanbul it is have some Turkish coffee or Turkish tea. But the good thing is that the Turkish coffee it is quite strong. It is made in Cezve which looks like that and it is not filtered and after that they just pour it into the cup. Cheers! Most of the times it also comes with Turkish delight. Morning everybody. I have Turkish tea which is really tasty, I like it. Some Turkish delight and we also got some like fresh uh, juice with, with orange and lemon it's very cheap it's like a pound here but like in london would be like a thousand and we also got some cheese pie i got a cheese pie really tasty and now that we have some energy from this turkish coffee we're ready for two things that are wrapped into one first of all you should visit the blue mosque and also Hagia Sophia which very conveniently the two most important mosques are so close to each other and something for which we were definitely not ready it is the humongous queue I just cannot tell you it like goes pretty much all around the mosque Guys, they covered me again. But this time, even more. With a rope, a blue rope. I have this blue rope. It looks a little bit like a, a raincoat, I would say. So Vasi didn't want to wear it, wear it and she was complaining to the police. And we literally bought yes. it for like one pound, and, and the problem is solved. But the she... thing is, there are many people that uh, go inside not covered. Yeah, my girlfriend, she's really proud. She's really pro justice, you know. <laughs> yes. And she, she was she was literally measuring the length of everyone's skirt. You know, it's like. Eh, 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 eh. Eh. No, because they let a lot of people in that were also not covered. And something which you should do both here in Hagia Sophia and in the Blue Mosque is that you should always leave your shoes before you enter inside. But the more interesting thing about Hagia Sophia is that actually before it served as an Eastern Orthodox Church. Inside you can also see Byzantine mosaics and also some emperors and representations of Christ which definitely makes it the world's most unique mosque. Apart from the fact that it's extremely beautiful, it also smells so nice. I feel like I'm in some high level perfumery in here. And a little tip, don't be afraid by the queue that you see because it actually goes quite fast and you won't wait for too long. Plus, it's actually free, so definitely worth it. Next off, we went to the Blue Mosque and I had quite high expectations after Hagia Sophia, but I have to tell you, it was a big disappointment because this is how it looks on Instagram and this was the reality. It yeah. smells like shit in here. Guys, we just came out of the Blue Mosque and I have to say, if you have to visit one, I would definitely go for yes. Hagia Sophia because or this was a little bit underwhelming. For the Blue Mosque, make sure you wear a face mask because it, it smells. And guys, please don't miss my favorite thing in Istanbul, which is the Grand Bazaar. It is one of the world's biggest cover markets dating back from 1461 and it sells all type of things like lamps, cer ceramics, jewelry and sweets. I already made a whole video about it so I will have it linked in the description down below if you want to check it out. But also don't forget to have some street food mm. like Ben is having at the moment. Oh I love it, I love it. Some boiled Really pork. good, really really thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. Hello, we got more street food. And this was so much fun, not because of the food itself, but because people were complaining about it. There was a girl, they like, so like the guy was like laying out all the ingredients in the wrap, and the girl was changing the position of the peppers or of the onions. Yeah, like, so she didn't want them horizontal, she wanted them were, vertical. Or like a bit more to the side. Like, Ah, for, for like a two pound sandwich, you know, like it's so annoying. Anyways, this is sandwich with mackerel, 
uh, veggies and random stuff and I'm gonna have a first bite. It's called uh, Balikek Mek and it's like one of the most famous things in here but we could like literally oh. see the guy like grilling oh. the fish and grilling the veggies. Ah! I think it's mackerel. That's, that, that's what I said. Ah, okay. Yes, it's mackerel confirmed. <laughs> we didn't need any confirmation. <laughs> And just a reminder to have a walk around the Bosphorus. Such a busy day that honestly nothing feels as good as like just sitting down for a second and enjoying the view. This place looks so cute and also like something uh, quite European. I like it, I like it. And also the fact that it's not full with cars everywhere. I bet you have already seen some of these viral videos of how do they sell Turkish ice cream to you but I have to say it was so much fun I definitely enjoyed it and yes it is exactly as you see it on social media you know the ice cream itself it's quite nice nothing in particular but the way in which they sell it to you it is the selling point in here And one of the best things that you can do it is to come to Galata Tower and the neighborhoods around because this is one of the most picturesque places that we have ever been to. Plus, they have very cute small coffee shops, which let me tell you that you cannot find all around the city. But keep in mind, there are like thousands of steps before it. And we went in here last night and after that, my phone said that I have been up 22 floors. But let's go. Over around this temple, there are these stands that sell fresh juices, but especially try the pomegranate one. Mm. Yeah, it's quite intense, but really good. It's, yeah, it's real fruit juice. I like it. I remember it a lot more bitter and not as sweet. Basically, all the way up that we're doing and all the walking, it is to see the tower over there. And of course, as a tower, they always make it like on the most upper part of the city. Nowadays, this tower is mostly used as a viewpoint, but during Ottoman times, it actually used to be a prison. Scary, in it? By the way, fun fact, Turkey, it is the country which I have visited that has the biggest amount of flags all around the city. Like, just look at this square meter, how many flags do we have around? When we were in Antalya and I ordered a plate of watermelon, they even put some flags of Turkey on top of it. Not quite sure why, but I guess they're quite like patriots and proud of their country. Also here in Taksim Square you can find like the busiest street with the most, with the biggest amount of shops and especially like more of international brand. Ben is just waiting to get into one store just because there is aircon and over here we're sweating a little bit. Another place where you can escape from the heat or from the madness of Istanbul, it is Princess Island. It is small, cute, with great nature and just think about that there are no cars on the island so people go around it in these cute little golf carts and actually it's not only one island, there are nine but we went to the biggest one which is Bukada if that's how you pronounce it because in Turkish you never really know hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe bell button down below so you don't miss out on more cool content love you all bye